Are you ready for this one? Three different layers, okay? And all three are good, all right? But I'm gonna tell you what I wanna focus on as I'm trying to change my body composition and get myself results, okay? So there's three different types of working out. Number one, all right, is activity. Activity means that you are eh, kind of given a little casual effort and you're maybe playing pickleball or something where you're able to talk and have fun and it's great. It's get, moving your body, you're getting sweaty, you're burning some extra calories, good, great, awesome. Number two is exercise. This is more structured. There's a little bit more effort here. Uh, it's cycling, it's swimming. There's a, usually a fixed length of time and you know it's a little bit more intense. The heart rate uh, range that you'll want to be in is a little higher. And then my favorite, and I think the only exercise the only form of working out that can actually change your body, change your mind, change your life is training. Training is a demanding workout. I mean, you can't talk, all right, which also means you can't do it for very long. Okay, so 45 minutes is that cat for me. I never, ever work out for more than 45 minutes. Matt, do you? I don't. I don't either. I don't. I used to when I was younger, and I knew that wasn't the best thing for me. And as I've gotten older, I've had to shorten my workouts, and it's 45 minutes, and that's it. Well, and I also get a much better, how would you say, physiological response from the short bursts of workouts. And I'm not so sore the next day that like I literally can't move. Same thing. We used to crush three-hour, two-hour strength training workouts, and you, you need an ice bath. You couldn't even walk <laughs> the day after, okay? Well, listen, I love it if, if you're – lifting super heavy and there's three hour uh, sessions if you're a professional bodybuilder that's something that you want to do all right that's res kind of reserved for that for that world of fitness but if you're like like the 95 percent of us then you're going to want to be a lifestyle athlete all right and you're going to want to make sure that you are training not just exercising and not just doing activity put yourself through the demand let's talk for a moment about what the demand does mentally because most people underestimate they underestimate the level of how the physical difficulty will translate into mental acuity and sharpness, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Um, if, if it's not demanding, so when you guys go into a 45 minute workout at Burn Boot Camp, um, your goal is to leave that 45 minute workout with a little bit more confidence than you walked in the door with. And that's only gonna happen if you do, do demanding exercises, which are programmed, but those exercises and the reps you complete have to be demanding. So if you're doing 10 reps and those 10 reps aren't hard enough by rep eight, nine, and 10, that's not demanding enough for you. So if you wanna get those results, those last couple reps of every set, those gotta be demanding. And then when you walk out, how do you feel? Amazing. You're not gonna feel that way if it wasn't demanding um, out, out, out of those exercises or those trainer isn't getting the much out of you for those last three reps. So make it demanding, you will feel better. You're gonna get crazy results if they're demanding. Um, so think about that when you walk into the Burn Boot Camp doors. Let's make this workout demanding.